what's up what's up facebook live this is your girl miss chocolate and i'm back to do another live video with you guys today today's video is going to be called say something positive saturday i know a lot of y'all probably didn't see my video when i just went off and let people have it and told them how i feel and sometimes you just got to do that sometimes you just got to say what's on your mind hold on y'all yeah sometimes you just got to say what's on your mind and let people know that you're not planning that you mean business and that you full grown out here how y'all like my little ponytail y'all just did my hair mm, girl feeling cute um here come my son. I can't never do a live video without somebody interrupting me. Yes. How's you better? What? You on the video. I know, but do you already just said mom now? No, I'm sorry. I come back. This is what happened. You got kids that think they grown, but they ain't. Always need you for something. Anywho, I want us to come to this video. I, well, I want to come get on live and I wanted to talk to y'all about um, being positive and not let negative energy disrupt your spirit you know because it's so many bad it's demons I'm going to just say this it's demons in this world and they can get into you by a conversation uh, it, it could be a song, a movie whatever you have to be you have to be open no no you don't have to be open but you need to be aware or well of what you are allowing to enter into your spirit and i say that because if you grow up in a life like i grew up in with a spiritual uh, background and foundation and people that's close to the lord and if you have your own personal relationship with god and you Okay, let me say this. You remember that movie, That's So Raven, right? How she could see into the future and she had premonitions and everything. Well, I'm kind of like that. I'm I'm not a psychic or nothing like that, but I do have a discerning spirit. And I used to be mad, like, oh my God. God, why you bless me with this spirit? Why you give me these abilities? Like, because my mom is like the worstest person ever to put a curse on you when she say something she mean it if you deliviate from what she said something bad always happened so when i was a kid i used to say i don't be nothing like my mama she uh she always cursing people with her with her thoughts and everything but it's not that she was cursing people it's just god selected a certain few and gave them this gift and when you are a gifted person and you have these talents, these supernatural talents, and you don't use them, that's why it's always hard in your life. This is why you always struggle. See, when you find out what your purpose is and you walk in your purpose, life will go so much smoother. And I'm 37 years old. And I'm just learning what walking in my purpose is. And I know I always say I've been grown a long time. I haven't been grown a long time. Just because you live on your own and you pay your bills and you got kids don't necessarily mean that you grown. It just means that you handling your business, you know, that like you should as an adult. But mentally, when you become grown, everything is different. Everything that you ever knew as a child, everything you believed in, everything you thought to be right, all starts to turn like, mm, I wonder if this is the truth. I wonder if I've been living a lie my whole life. When you, when you start to do research and search out things for yourself, even the Bible say, you know, you got to search the kingdom and all this righteousness you know for yourself and people get mad at me when i say 
I can't tell you what your God can do for you, but I know what my God do for me. And they be looking at me like, well, what type of God you serve? Because you, you, you talking like you serve some other type of God and it's only one God. There is only one God. That's let's make that clear right now. There is only one God and Everybody should serve this one God. He is a jealous God. But the reason why I say I can't tell you what your God do for you, because we all are created in his image, but we all are individuals. We, it's just like a fingerprint. No two fingerprints are the same, even on the identical twin. And I said that because nobody's relationship with God is going to ever be the same. We argue all the time in my family. We read the Bible and everybody's perception and understanding of the Bible in one passage or one story is different. You may not get, we can read the same story in the Bible, but you may get a total different understanding. A total different understanding. And then we be arguing back and forth like, no, nah, you wrong. No, I'm right. No, you wrong. It's not who's wrong or right. It's just whatever understanding God created you to have is what it is. So this is why I be like, I know what my God going to do for me. Because my God ain't going to do for me what he going to do for you. Or it's a total different love connection. You know, all one God, let's make that clear. But it's a different relationship. A different understanding. A different gonna say qua that people possess you know and it's just it's just like when you get grown and you realize like what life is about and what your purpose is and your destiny and what you want in life things just become so much clearer it's like you know how they say i can see clearly now that the rain is gone. It take people a lifetime to get the rain out. I am just now getting to the point where I can see my pot of gold at the end of my rainbow. At the end of my storm. And when you get to that point in your life, things just make so much more sense. It's not about who you allow in your life. It's not about what you do in your life. It's about you being certain on who you are. And you being able to weed out the good or weed out the bad. Now, it's going to be days that come along where you ain't too sure about what's going on in your life. It's going to be so many days where you be like, I just want to give up. Because ain't nothing perfect. Life is what it is. God gave you your life and it's your job. When I say your job, to find your purpose and walk in it, that's your job. He gave us our free will. I know I talk about this free will because our own free will is what prosecutes us. It's what keep us down. Because we don't realize as a person that the decisions we make do affect our future and the people around us. So today I came on here just to tell y'all a little bit of that and to show y'all that it's not bad walking in your purpose. It's not bad following some of the rules that God set for for us to um, live by. And then it's not also bad to find out spiritually what road you want to take. Everything in this life ain't always what it seems. All these stories and all this Bible tells and everything that we know and that we grew up to know, we don't know if it's true. It sounds good. They fed it to us, you know, and you want to believe everything that your mom and your grandma and everybody taught you and the black history of things. But the truth of the matter is we'll never know the truth. And that's why it's very important for us to be spiritually connected with the world, the universe, with your God, my God. Because certain things in life, your spirit will lead you. It will not, it, it, your spirit will lead you and it will not steer you wrong if you listen to it. But you have to listen. You know how you get that gut feeling and you be like, 
oh, maybe I shouldn't have did that. Or maybe I should do it. That's your spirit telling you the right way. But guess what? We fight spirit. We fight our minds. And we fight our hearts. Some people can't tell the difference. That's why it's very important for you to be spiritually connected. Because once you be able to tell the difference, your purpose and your walk going to be so much better. My cousin has uh, posted something. And he said, um, it's time to walk in your purpose or something. And I said, I'm not walking in my purpose. I'm dancing in my purpose because I'm highly favored and wonderfully made. And I mean that. Like, the joy that I have on my spirit is just so amazing, you know. And it took me a long time. A long time to get to this point in my life. It took me a long time to just be like, I'm in charge of making me happy. And if I'm sad, it's because I let myself be sad. Can't nobody, and I repeat, nobody in this world, on this earth, should bring your self-esteem down. Because it's called self-esteem, people. A seen as an esteem of your freaking self, okay? An esteem of you. You cannot listen. You came in this world by yourself. You gonna leave this world by yourself. I mean, besides if you were twin, you was born together, whatever, whatever. But you know what I mean. So stop waiting on people to validate how you how you supposed to feel. Stop waiting on people to tell you what your life should be or your dreams or whatever. Get in contact and connection with you, baby. I promise you, it's going to be worth the ride. Worth the ride. Like, I'm living my best life right now at this moment. And, and no, it's not perfect at all by means. I'm not nowhere near where I really want to be. But guess what? I'm living. I'm here. God chose me to be here another day. So guess what? I'm living. I'm going to do the best that I can. And on my journey, from here on out, today is June something. Because that's how lost I am. Saturday, June 20... Anybody? Anybody? Anyway, it's June 2019. And from this day forward, I'm going to walk in my purpose. I'm going to live my best life. I'm going to be as happy as I possibly can. I'm not going to let nothing or nobody bring me down. And that's what I'm going to do. Because life is short. It ain't nothing promised. When I say life is short, it ain't nothing promised. You could be here and gone tomorrow. That's how this world works now. So enjoy your life. And just remember, when you think things are bad, and you think, oh my God, I can't go no further. I'm just, I'm finna die. I'm finna quit. This happened to me. I'm broke. I, just think about it. You ain't in no third world country. You They ain't bombing your apartments or you're killing your kids. You, you you got running water. You can get up and go to McDonald's and get you some uh fast food or cook on your stove or whatever the case may be. Just when you think it's bad, it's not that bad. Because somebody always got it worse. If you woke up with your kids this morning or able to speak to your kids and your family and good health, maybe not perfect health, but good health, Praise God, thank Him, and do the best that you can in the day. And stop complaining. I complain so much about certain things when I'm so blessed. See, people that's blessed always complain about not being blessed or things always being bad in their life. Oh, this is wrong. Oh, that is wrong. Help. But the real actuality is, uh oh, y'all, I'm having service interruptions. Oh, 
say my connection is low. So if I froze, I froze. But anyway, people that's highly favored and wonderfully made, it's going to always struggle. We're going to always be attacked first. We're going to always be depressed, sad. But guess what? We don't have to be because we blessed. It's, oh my God. I'll be on this phone forever talking to y'all about um, the blessings that God give you and the whatever. Uh, today is just the day to tell you, stop allowing people to hurt your spirit. Live your best life. Walk in your purpose. Enjoy life because it's not promised. And I'm about to end this live because I've been on here for a while. And I know my daughter is trying to call me. What you say? You see me ask a question? Oh, yes. I did my own hair, Nene, if you still on here. And, yeah. So, until next time, people. Stay blessed. And start walking in your purpose.